Good morning, Refuge family. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Him. Today, I would like to encourage you with very important reminders because God is on His throne. He loves us so much. He's a good Father. He cares for you. He cares for me. There are three things that are very important to remember in our lives, in our relationships. One thing that is so important to know is that there will be conflict in this life. There will be difficulties, adversities. But yet, Jesus said, rejoice, for I have overcome the world. Have the peace that only I can give, Jesus says. So in marriage, there's always going to be conflict. There's always going to be situations where you realize that you need God. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. So let this be as a reminder to all of us that we need Him. We need Him every day. We need Him every moment. Yes, there's so much going on in families, marriages, raising of kids with what just society where we live in. A lot of loneliness, really. There's so much loneliness and people don't realize how lonely they have become. And even more and more as we get so connected to so many people through social media, but yet we're missing out the person that is sitting across the table from us or those who live in under the same roof. So today I would like to remind you that no matter what, uh, there's always going to be situations of difficulty. At the same time, there's going to be things where you don't agree with, but you learn the three B's, bend, blend, or break. Bend, blend, or break. So what does that mean? When in a relationship you come to a point where you need to realize either you're going to bend to satisfy the situation, to bring peace for the sake of peace, uh, standing for what is right, but then being tolerant of certain things because you love that other person, but you're standing your, 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 your grips on the truth. You bend, okay, let's do that. Let's do it that way. And then time will tell. And then life will teach us always to great lessons. Bend. Or the word submission, right? The second B is for blend. Okay, what do you think if we do this and you meet each other halfway? Let's do this, but this, then also let's do the other. So bending and blending, coming to an agreement, coming to an understanding that we don't have the whole truth, that we don't know everything. We need wisdom from above. So let's see how it goes. Let's play by ear. Let's blend during this transition, this situation we're facing. So bend, you submit, blend, you come to an agreement and in terms of uh, understanding, but then break is what we don't wanna do. We don't wanna break relationship. We don't wanna just uh, go our own separate ways because Jesus said, behold how good and how pleasant is when the brethren dwell together. And in order to dwell together, we must learn this very important principle of the three B's, bend, blend, or break. After all, we want to please Jesus. And unity comes by being united with Christ. And as we are one in Christ, then we can also become one with one another. The unity of the body of Christ. One faith, one Lord, one church. So today, I just want to encourage you with these words. The Bible says that Jesus said a prayer in John 17, and that prayer was to the Father saying, Father, that they may be one, just then you and I are one. So we pray for the unity of the body of Christ here, there, and everywhere. We pray for the unity of the household in each of the families represented. And we pray for unity among the brethren and the ministries everywhere. So thank you so much. Blessings to you. This is Pastor Fausto Fluker with the Spanish Ministry here in Refuge Family, Huntington Beach, California. I love you. Jesus loves you. And let's continue to be united in Him, in prayer, united in the power of His wonderful promises that are yes and amen. Thank you. Good being with you. God bless you. Bye-bye.